Hey everyone, this is Pilot here today with something new I'd like to share. A couple months ago I came into possession of a resin 3D printer that I've been using to make custom bonicle pieces. If you keep up with my posts on Discord or the community tab, you may have seen some of these parts already. This seems like a topic that a lot of people are interested in, so going forward you can expect to see some one-off videos about my 3D printing projects. Today's project will involve my mock of Toa Helrix. I recently felt inspired to recreate this mock in physical form, which required me to make prints of both her mask of psychometry and shield. Files for both both these parts can be found on the website Thingiverse, so I downloaded them, got them arranged on the build plate and added supports, and finally loaded them onto my printer and hit go. As we wait for the prints to finish, let me explain a little more about what a resin printer actually is. This kind of 3D printer is very different from the more common FDM printers that use plastic filament. A resin 3D printer instead makes use of liquid resin. This stuff is very toxic, but more importantly, it can be cured through exposure to UV light. At the bottom of every resin printer, there is a high resolution screen that can emit UV light in the pattern of each layer in your print. As each layer is cured, the build plate slowly rises up, and after a couple hours you'll have yourself a finished print. The main advantage of a resin printer compared to FDM is the level of detail you can achieve. Resin printers can be very precise, which is important for creating bonicle pieces that tend to have a lot of small details. The only drawback is the potential danger of uncured resin. You don't want to breathe in the fumes, and you especially don't want it on your skin, which is why you'll see me wearing a mask and gloves. It turns out there wasn't enough room to print both the mask and shield at the same time, so first let's take a look at Helrix's Kanoe. This is the canon design of the Mask of Psychometry, as modeled by Galva. You'll notice the mask looks kinda wet, and that's excess uncured resin that we'll need to wash off. However, the mask is still attached to the build plate, so we'll need to scrape it off first. You're supposed to scrape off the print into the container you'll be using to wash it, but of course always wind up missing. Thankfully, despite falling on the floor of my garage, the mask was left unharmed. Now that the mask is in the container full of water, I usually like to give it a good shake to get all the extra resin off. I should also mention that only some resins are water washable, and most will need to be washed with isopropyl alcohol instead. Next comes the most satisfying part, ripping off all the supports. All that's left to do is set the mask out in the sun or under a UV light to finish curing. While the print does get mostly cured during the printing process, the printer only spends a few seconds on each layer. This means we'll need to expose it to more UV for the mask to become fully solidified. Now let's move on to the shield. This was actually my first time printing something other than a Kanoe, and I think it turned out great. As you can see, I'm simply following the same process that I did for the mask. Scrape off the print, wash it, remove the supports, and leave it to cure. And just like that, we've managed to create two fully custom bonicle pieces that I can now use on Toa Helrix. I will need to paint these at some point so they match the colors on the studio model, but for the moment, I am very happy with how these turned out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future 3D printing videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this behind the scenes look at my 3D printing projects. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you found this interesting.